Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tangle Tower. Thanks for tuning in. We are talking to Fiona slash Fifi right now, and I'm just in the middle of finishing up, showing her pretty much all the evidence. Um, I wasn't sure how useful this could be, but so far I feel like she's giving us fairly relevant information, both about like the item itself as well as kind of her personal feelings about the items that or rather the people that these items belong to. So I'm just kind of slowly going through it, so let's do it. She clearly will not like this, I think. That or she's gonna claim that this is the knife that she supposedly saw Fitz bringing up a uh, pointer tower, so. That See, blade. look at that, that blade. It's a troll for gardening. It is. Hmm, okay, okay. That belongs to my mother. I think she must be fond of eggs. There are a number of egg-shaped carvings to be found in the garden and in the grand hall. We did find one. Yeah, uh, what's the deal with all the eggs? Some people just like eggs. That's true. That's very true. There are a lot of people out there who really enjoy eggs, love eating all kinds of egg-related things. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. She's laughing. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So, so, was this from Poppy or... Fifi. I don't remember. I forgot who mentioned who it was from, but she's not saying much more. She reacted pretty strongly, so from her, I guess. The gramophone belongs to Poppy, but I believe she gave it to my mother, and my mother often loaned it to Freya. Or maybe it is the other way around. When did it get cracked? I cannot pinpoint it exactly. All I know is that it must have happened sometime in the last two days. Oh, really? That's quite recent. Okay, and it says two days specifically, so even the day before um, the murder occurred, when Hawkshaw arrived. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, Hawkshaw arrived long before that, but anyways. The red paint on the brush is not paint. It is blood. Same for the palette. So really? So added the blood to the painting herself? What? Or blood got on the brush and palette some other way? I didn't realize that the, the brush... And, uh, the paint on the brush and the palette was also blood. I thought it was just the painting itself. I don't remember if that detail got mentioned, but good to know. I do not know the answer. Hmm. Fifi, did you test the red paint in this pot? Yes, I did. I discovered it too was blood. What? Whoa. A whole pot full of blood? What? It's not a whole pot. It is only partially full. Yeah, but still. That's gross. Doesn't that freak you out? No. In fact, it may be considered rather reassuring. Why? Why would it reassure you in any way? That makes no sense. I wonder if it was her own blood or if it was somebody else's or what, did, what the heck? And then plus they mentioned like, oh, I wonder how he painted the red paint on, on that model. And like, why would he paint Freya? Is it because he had like a secret affair with somebody and had her, had her as his own child? I don't know what's going on here, man. Freya is normally highly skilled at capturing someone's likeness. But in this painting, she has accidentally made Flora look quite young. <laughs> uh... I think she was just being kind. Why is that kind? Anyway, I'm far more interested in what Flora is holding. I performed the test on the red paint myself. I discovered that it was in fact not paint. Right, but... right. What made you want to test it in the first place? Yeah, right. Copy. Oh. She told me she thought the painting looked like a bloody knife. What? I told her not to be ridiculous. My mother owns no such knife. But then I noticed that the color was slightly too dark. Ah. Uh, the itself was overly viscous. Okay, okay, I see, you I see. that just from looking at it once? Of course. Okay, right, right, right. So Poppy wasn't pointing out that it looked particularly bloody or anything. She was just literally commenting on the image itself, saying, like, that kind of looks like she's holding a, a bloody knife. Okay, I got it, I got it. The statue itself does not interest me, but I do wish to know about those symbols on the hearth. Have you deciphered their meaning yet? Nope, not yet. We're working on it. <laughs> we are. Yeah, kind of. We don't have any relevant information, but we're, it's still a work in progress. So yes, technically you could say we're still working on it. I require facts. What do you know? Well, we know Freya was stabbed with a knife, and then she found- Correction. She was stabbed with something. There was no knife found at the crime scene. Hmm. Apart from the one in the painting. Which, as a mere abstract representation, does not count. So it might be it might be there to throw us off. We're thinking it's a knife, but it was in fact something else. But we, we just are under the very strong presumption that it was a knife because of that. Mm. Nobody has ever been stabbed by the concept of a knife. 
You never know. Sometimes the concept of of something can jump right out, okay? What is your opinion of Tangle Tower? Oh, it's impressive. Elaborate gardens, unique architecture. Must be worth a fortune. Why do you ask, Fifi? I am the heir of the Fellow family Whoa. and the Remington family. All this right. Is the sole beneficiary of Tangle Tower. That's quite an inheritance. Oh. They can't make you do anything, Fifi. If you don't want the house, just tell them. Or just sell it. Who cares? You sound like her. Who sound like who? Sound like Freya? Might might be Freya, because th th that sounds like good advice to like encourage her to not feel like self-conscious or scared, you know. So that sounds like what Freya might have said. Oh. There's something about Felix's painting supplies. Ooh. Something. Suspicious. Let's ask him about it. Uh, later. I still have to look There's around the room. Oh, wow! Charles handheld microscope. Something suspicious. Ooh! Let's ask her about it. That's cool. It updates. That That's neat. A snow globe? Of sorts. Puzzle? Is it puzzle time? Whoa! It's a little recreation! Interesting! Hey, look at that. It's a model of Tangle Tower. There's a lake and those weird mountains. Yeah, it almost looks like a cracked egg. Oh! <laughs> what are you thinking? That would make an amazing souvenir. It totally would. It totally would. Um, is there anything else I can take a look at, or not really? Hey, look at it's that. A, what are you thinking? That would make an amazing. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing about hey, the confetti or the sparkles make... or any. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. Sure. Uh, what's in those bottles? Oh, I just got an achievement, a souvenir. Was it just to, just for looking at it? <laughs> I'm not sure. Soil samples? Hmm. Sure. Why not build a science lab in the corner of the library? Yeah, why not? You know, because all the research materials are nearby, easy and convenient. The search for new knowledge. The archiving of old knowledge. It's downright poetic. Wow. Wow, Sally. Books about birds. The shelves are about... Half empty. Oh, so you're a the shelves are half empty kind of person. Rather than the shelves are half full. You knew this already. <laughs> Books about nature. Oops. Books about nature. A chalkboard. Is this a library or a classroom? Oh wow. Okay. Um. Math. Equations. My brain's immediately shutting off. Don't look at them for too long. Yeah, I'm not. I'm trying not to. Don't give yourself a headache. What about these, though? Any idea what this means? Not a clue. Hmm. They seem very significant, though. Like a, a code to a puzzle. Or family tree. Or... I don't know what it means yet. So I when I have an idea... Anything from that. Unless... Am I supposed to learn Trump, something from this? this? Library or... I'm supposed to learn something from no, this. Don't You'll give um, any idea what not this... a clue. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure I learned anything. We'll learn something from that eventually. Whoops, I think we're done with you, hun. I think we are done with you. Okay, thank you so much. What about this? illustrated book about birds. Oh, okay, so she likes birds. It's been left open. It looks like somebody was halfway through reading it. Or it was left open for us to find. Ooh, conspiracy theory. Uh, is it when you, you study birds, it's ornithology? Correct me if I'm wrong. Ever so slightly unnerving. Wow. Aw, cute. The ink dip is a remarkably intelligent bird with a very long lifespan, even among avian mystids. Other birds are often aggressive towards it, and the ink dip lives most of its life alone. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. It has particular feeding habits and usually only eats the seeds of the tantum amica pictured. Ooh, okay. Cool. Very cute. Nice. Um, uh, what else? Okay, so this Looks shelf's falling over. Ancient history? I think. These books are ancient history. Oh, wow. Such a sick burn, Sally. I think they'd crumble into dust if I tried to pick them up. Good excuse. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Came up with it myself. I grew it myself. Thanks. Books about geography. Skip. <laughs> books about insects. Well, theoretically. There's not a single book on that shelf. Huh. That's strange. What about... Books about space. The Golden Beetle! They're relatively untouched. Sure, why not? The archive's downright poetic. Hmm, anything else? Uh, what's I'm not that? sure. Soil samples? I guess that's it for now. What about this book lying down? A book? On the floor. Fundamental entomology. Hmm, I guess somebody dropped it. We need to learn about bugs. I want to know about bugs. There's things about bugs all around. Freya's keeping bugs. There's a golden beetle. Got a, got, I got a golden beetle. That's it, I guess. Okay. 
I'm hopping out of here for now, but I'm watching you, young lady. You better watch your back. <laughs> now nah, you've been quite cooperative. Okay, wait, wait. So, so, ooh! It shows us little symbols of things to reinvestigate. That's pretty cool. Here, I want to go here first, and then I'll do it. So this is Fiona's room, or Fifi's room. Okay. Fifi's room. Oh, this looks, this looks kind of nice. This looks kind of cozy. I like it. I like it. A new suspect. A new suspect. A new winner. Don't think you being questioned just because you're a bear. And also not alive. I'm innocent. I promise. Oh, Sally, cute. Oh, that was cute. I'll save it for the judge. <laughs> They're actually playing off of each other. It's so funny. Like sometimes you know, one's like the straight man, one's the the um, what is it called in English? <laughs> the fool, I guess, because there's like the uh, boke and uh, tsukomi. Um, so I, I like that. I think that's really cute that they play off of each other so well. That's adorable. Uh, okay. Fifi's got something pinned up here. What is all this? Oh. Okay, so why are some of these tied to each other? What does that mean? Oh, wait, there's us and him tied to each other. So Hawkshaw is tied to Pointer somehow. And so these two, right? And then what about these? So the connections mostly mix. Ooh, wait, there's something kind of messy going on here. There's something kind of messy going. What does this mean? Okay, we haven't really spoken to Penelope either. Okay. Who is that? No idea. Poppy, it's Poppy. Oh, but we haven't met her. Is that supposed to be me? <laughs> <laughs> so angry. Honestly, pretty accurate. Look at your intense Shiba Inu eyebrows. That's just the face you make when you're thinking. It does make you wonder, though. When did Fifi draw all this? Must have been really recent. We literally just arrived. I think that's supposed to be Felix. It's Detective Hawkshaw. <laughs> so, Sally. You look really great. Your eyes especially, it's just so accurate. It really captures you as a person. What? I do not look like that, do I? I will neither confirm nor deny. Looks like Fitz. Looks like Professor Pointer. Who is that? No idea. That's gotta be Flora. Arrows connecting all the different suspects. They're not labeled though. Yeah, they're completely meaningless. Hmm. Is Fifi trying to solve the mystery with math equations? It sure is working out so far, isn't it? Maybe. Did you ever try that? Maybe it works. <laughs> I I guess there's not much we can do with this. Did you notice who isn't on here? Freya. Mm-hmm. And Fifi herself. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. We got an achievement, professional snoop. I don't know, man. I don't Boxes know. Of stuff. Very exciting. Crystal chandeliers. Extra fancy. I don't know. They just seem old-fashioned to me. I think they're quite Plus pretty, they're actually. Kind of dusty. They're quite pretty. I don't know what that drink is, but I bet it's 99% sugar. I'd read you the ingredients, but there's nothing written on the can. I also can't read. Hi, I'm Grimoire. I'm however old I am, 22, and I never learned how to read. That's even worse. What's that big book on the desk? Looks like something Fifi's been writing. Is it a clue? I hope not. It's just a bunch of notes about her microbiology experiments. You never know. There might be something snuck in there in the, in the frickin' index, just in tiny, tiny font. It's a magnifying glass. A big one. How come you don't have one of those? Yeah, aren't you supposed to be a detective? All detectives are supposed to have these. Why? Because I'm a detective? Well, I find that to be a harmful stereotype about detectives, and I do not appreciate that. Should I start smoking a pipe, too? You can pull off a pipe. <laughs> he, said he, felt, he looked like he felt bad about that. He's like, aw, posters. that hurt. This one's about the Pythagoras theorem. I thought it was pronounced Pythagoras, but I have no idea. Ah, I've not heard of that band. Are they any good? Oh my god, Grimoire. <laughs> the Pythagorean Theorem. It looks like a microscope. A big Can I touch it? Oh, a uh, puzzle. I'm not sure this is a microscope. There's a key. Is it going to pop open? Give me a key. Ooh, hor horizontally slide the four magnifying lenses to the correct positions in order to create that image, I'm assuming. So, um, for example, so that makes it kind of smaller. Um, and this one makes it quite large. Uh, maybe too large. Is that too big? Oh, that's too big. So what if I combine like two other ones? So if I do that, for example, but make it a bit smaller, that looks about the right size. So I just gotta wait. Uh... Ooh, that doesn't look good. Wait, what if I combine these two? Oh, that's way. Oh yeah, look at that detail. Uh huh. Wait, okay, that's too big. That's too big. Um, 
So this like barely makes it bigger. So that's good to keep in mind. This one makes it freaking huge. So that'll probably help gap clean, clear the gap or rather close the gap here maybe. Actually, okay, let me get these out of the way. So, oh, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. So it like shows, uh, wait, this is a little, a little wonky. Um, so that makes that really big. How big am I making this image? So, um, ah, uh, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. Oh no. I'm assuming. Okay, so I've only got four to work with, right? I've only got four to work with, so. So I, aha, aha, aha. So that's what that's for. And this doesn't make that any smaller, really. Also, there's like a gap right here. I feel like I'm supposed to get rid of that. Uh. Um, but how? Uh, jeez. That's too big. <laughs> That's too big. Wait, can I move them up and down? Okay. Wait, okay. This probably isn't gonna help this part, right? Yeah, that's that's too huge. This one seems kind of perfect for that. This one seems kind of... Yeah, that looks really good. That looks really good. So this one... Yeah, that's probably right there, right? A and then, um... How the heck do I do the rest? Uh, like, th like that, where, uh, what the heck? Okay, so it's obviously, so the, this is, it shows on the symbol right here what exactly it does, but like, for example, um, that part's too huge, yeah? So like, something like that? I don't know. I don't even know where to put it. Can I combine them? Does that help at all? I don't think so. Ah, uh, heck. Okay, I'm gonna finagle this for a little bit and see if I can find it. Jesus Christ, wish me luck. I'm back. I think I got it. Um, yeah. So the way I approached it this time, I, I, I don't know if this is confirmed. I'm pretty sure this is it. The way I approached it was like, oh wait. So if I look at the pluses, for example, I can go by like magnifying the smallest part with the three, second smallest part with the two, you know, third smallest part with this, and then the smallest part, or rather what, a part that needs to be made smaller with this. So I, that's kind of the logic that I went by. So this should be correct. Oh my God. Great, okay, okay, okay. I was so confused. Oh my God, yay. Awesome. Sounds like it unlocked. Yeah. It's built on top of a little metal box. There's a book in here. Oh, wow, what a cute book. Oh no, it's a secret diary. We shouldn't be reading it. Oh no, a well-used book resembling a diary. It's locked with a strange metal device. Okay, so we've got even more to unlock. We unlocked a thing, but we have a second thing to unlock. And who knows, there might even be a secret third tiny lock in there. Huh, okay, okay. Uh, we probably don't want to present it to her and be like, hey, we broke in your room and we opened your lock for your secret diary that's full of your secrets. How do you open it? We want to see what's inside. <laughs> a pretty ornate window with a great view of the lake. We're supposed to be looking for clues, not assessing the real estate value. Why not both? And over here, you will see <laughs> sheets of paper to block out all that unnecessary natural light. A simple trick, but it really transforms the space. I believe you. I believe every single word you're selling to me. You could be a great real estate agent. That's a whole lot of books. The stuff Fifi's thrown away. You gonna rummage through the trash can? Yeah, that's what all great detectives are supposed to do. No, that is quite <laughs> beneath me. Thank you. I give it five minutes before you're in there. <laughs> Scientific. She knows him well. Probably. I'll openly admit I have no idea what any of it means. Boxes of stuff. Hmm, potato chips? What's I'll take a potato chip <sighs> and eat it! It's just a bunch of I feel like that's it. I feel like I've clicked on everything that looked fairly significant in here, but you never know. I don't know what that drink is, but uh, that's even worse. Hmm, I think that's it for now. I don't notice anything else particularly out of place. Hey, it's the threes again! Well, I mean, it's just a clover, but it also just looks like the threes that we saw. Okay. I hope that's it. Well, if we miss something, we can come back and get it later. All right. Now, let us start investigating these elements. Uh, unfortunately, we'll have to do that in the next episode. <laughs> I got too carried away, too excited, and just investigating Fiona stuff. Wow, these episodes are flying by so quickly now that I've been uh, questioning each person with like every item. I didn't think it would be necessary before because it isn't always in like other games. Sometimes it's just red herrings. They just kind of give you random useless information. But I feel like, again, it's been fairly pertinent, even if it's not like 
huge eye-opening shocker information tidbits that they're giving us it's all quite important it like adds it for me it like adds to the story as well it adds to the characters their relationships you know how they feel about each other and sometimes you know they provide useful hints and and give us extra leads like this where we have to reinvestigate the paint because of like an off comment from her so i like this a lot so far yeah um I do feel like, you know, I, I am silent, silent for a lot of it, and, you know, a lot of the episode's time is taken up by by just kind of them speaking. I'm cool with that. Hope that you are. Um, I'm really loving this game so far, so I will see you next time. This is Axis, over and out.